Hey, everybody. God bless. Uh, this is Pastor Mike, and I'm um, so glad to have you all here on the first Sunday in the month of July. Um, as you can imagine, we are halfway through the year, and it always falls on our anniversary month. Every year, for the past 15 years, in the month of July, we celebrate our anniversary. And so we thought as the way to kick off our anniversary, we bring the band back together. Some of the earliest members of the Way Church, those who kind of helped us in our earliest days, weeks and months, uh, really stand the way up and develop our culture. Dare I say the DNA of the Way, the way we describe ourselves with these core values that we are a church that is loving, where people find home, that we are a church uh, where people are deeply engaged around spirituality of the Holy Spirit, uh, that we are a church that really centers and embraces justice, and we are a church that is growing to de churchify ourselves, to uh, really uncouple ourselves from those things that uh, are not life-giving to ourselves and to other members of our community. And so welcome, welcome. Uh, it's, it's, it's a great blessing to be able to have uh, some of these original folks here and Certainly, it's great to have Lady Sharice, who really led the DNA of the way process. You want to say hello to everyone? Hi, everybody. It's good to see um, all these OGs, the familiar faces who are here when we started the journey. Um, yeah, just glad to see everyone and to celebrate this anniversary. Yes, yes, yes. Well, it's, 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 it's been an amazing journey. Why don't we just have folks just say hello? We'll start with my parents. I want to say hello and, and introduce yourselves just in case folks may not know who you are since we've been virtual for the last three or four months. <laughs> hello, everybody. Praise the Lord. I like this is Deacon James McBride and, and uh, my lovely wife, Sister Lorella McBride. We are honored today to be able to sit here and think about the goodness of the Lord and how far he has brought us through these 15 years. Uh, I want to say that um, it, it's been a, a great time, a uh, venture for me, but uh, we just honor God and thank him for the growth of the church. I can remember when Pastor Mike first came, he said, we're going to have 100 members in one year. And I said, okay. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and thanks be to God that we was able to accomplish that and that from then on I said the Lord is blessing us right now. So mm. we thank God for him and for the 15 years of him and Sister Cherise being our, our pastor and wife and we honor them. We thank God and just pray that God continue to bless them in Jesus name. Mm. Amen. Mm. Hey. You want to say anything Mom? I just agree with everything he said and we're so thankful that <laughs> back together <laughs> and to see all of us still going on in Jesus, Jesus name. name. Let's, let's look towards another 15 years. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Say hello, Sister Sandra. Hello, everyone. I'm Sandra Tony. I've been with The Way for the first 15 years. God willing, I'll see the next 15. Um, it has been a journey of blessings and love. We are so grateful to have been able to bring in the community into the church. We thank God for these first 15 years and God bless you, Pastor Mike and Lady Sharice. All right. Uh, Antonio, you want to say hello? Yes. Hello, everyone. My name is Antonio Cedial. I was with the church for the first, I think, nine years until me and the family moved out of the area, which is very sad. I was one of the first members. I think the church was two or three months old when we joined, and I, I have the distinction of being the first person baptized at the Way Christian. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 I was on that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Sister Nancy, you want to say hello? Hi, everybody. My name is Sister Nancy, and I've been at the Way for 15 years. I came at the, like the ending of the first year. Um, and there's just no other place for me. The way has been my home, the way family, the McBride family have been my family. And I just love the way I just love the, um, McBride family took me in, uh, when I was like, you know, like going through some real, real hard times in my life and, you know, feeling a lot lonely and by myself and just going through a really, really tough time. And the whole entire McBride family welcomed me with loving arms. Like 
I was part of the family from day one, and <laughs> I just knew that was the love of God that they had in them, and um, that's how I, it's my first time even experienced for myself, the love of God was through meeting them and the way they loved on all the members, you know, with godly love, and that's something that's really rare, and something that I, was my first time experiencing, so I'm thankful to God for the McBride family, the Way Church, and yeah, thankful, very thankful. Well, yeah, it's uh, it's been a great journey. I don't know uh, what you all remember the first uh, few months or year that we were there, but uh, I remember um, lots of uh, 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 spirit. We had early morning prayer, six in the morning praying, and you know. Amen. Tongue talking <laughs> sessions and all kind of stuff. Who 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 wants to go first and just share one of your first memories from the way uh, in the first few few uh, few months or year? And and we don't have a whole lot of time, so y'all can't be long winded. But let's start with you, Antonio. Because I know if I start with my dad, then we don't run out of time. <laughs> I got I got so many stories, but so I'll, I'll just tell with the first time I came to the way, and uh, Mike had invited me. We we had met not too long before. And I told him I was looking for a church. He said, well, I just started a church just down the street. Go check it out. So my first time there, I think uh, in the pews was the extended McBride family and maybe three or four other people. Uh, so that was the size. It was probably about 15 people total. Mike was, uh, was uh, leading worship. There was uh, one drummer and one keyboard player and Mike. That was the extent of the music program at the time. Yeah. And then after leading worship, then he preached. And he probably also cleaned the bathrooms that day, I'm sure. It was kind of a one-man show at the time. But uh, it was definitely instant sense of family. And, and like Sister Nancy said, I mean, the McBrides, you become part of the church, you become part of the McBride family. And that kind of warmth, I think, is what made it such a special uh, place to be. Um, yeah, I got, I got, I got a million stories about the way, but I, I'll just say that it was a pivotal time in my life, and uh, I just, I, I miss it dearly. So, well, Sharice, I, I love to come to you because you, you were actually there before uh, we actually started mm -hmm. the way formally. You were there in the previous church, so you have a little bit of a extended history, right? Yeah. So when I um, moved up here from the Central Valley originally, Deacon Loretta will remember. Um, I came to Gethsemane, the church that was there before. And that was because <laughs> my pastor at the time uh, told me, you look for a church in the phone book if you have to, and like, look for an apostolic church. <laughs> and I literally looked at the phone book and underneath the apostolic, there was like one church listed in the area. So I went to Gethsemane those years before. And um, I had been going there for some years. And then while I was gone, I had lived overseas and or li uh, lived in Costa Rica. The church kind of um, fizzled out and I didn't know what exactly had happened. But all of a sudden I heard about um, there was going to be this young pastor who was taking it over. Um, and I knew his family from going to Gethsemane, but he was always that brother who was just like away. So I knew Vivian. I knew David, I knew Michelle, I'd uh, met TJ and Ben, but there was like this floating head in the corner of the pictures that was lived somewhere else. <laughs> um, and so I met him and was like, oh, that's cool. You're starting the church. I'll check it out. Um, and it, I didn't come right away because I was just like, this is a whole new thing. But eventually I liked the way he preached and I found, you know, that it aligned with my beliefs and um, what I liked. So Yes, I did join in, and then we 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 started hanging out. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll just say that, that Sharice and I joined on the same day. It was probably my third or fourth visit, and it was me, Sharice, the future first lady, and Alicia. Yeah. All joined on the same day. <laughs> and, uh, I remember when Mike, Mike, we, Mike didn't know we were going to join. We all kind of got up, and he said, "Whoa!" So happy. <laughs> <laughs> His family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I remember that Sunday. I felt overwhelmed. I was thinking, man, this is this is man, we got three people on <laughs> <laughs> the harvest. He, but the funny thing is he still acts like that to this day when we get a new member or two. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So <laughs> 
Well, Sister Sand, why don't you jump in? Because you were there on one of the first Sunday. You, my mom, my dad, and I think my grandma, Grandma Hamilton. And, and what, what do you remember about some of those earliest um, days? And what do you think has contributed to us maintaining a sense of family and and um, home for people? Well, I do remember the early days, and, and I think the head count was maybe eleven or twelve people the, to start out with. But then shortly after that people from the neighborhood started coming. Mm -hmm. and, and I said to myself, I've been in this building for a lot of years and I've never seen these people. And they're like, oh, I just live across the street or down the street. Mm -hmm. And I was blown away by the fact that in a very short time after ch the church started, the neighborhood was coming in. And it, mm -hmm. that to me was a blessing. That to me said that uh, this is a place of love and this is where people want to be. So, Sister Nancy, Sister Nancy, you were one of the first neighborhood. Families. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and it and it was woo woo who led us there. <laughs> we would walk. We would walk by. We would walk by that church on our way to the uh, supermarket, Bayside supermarket, and I was like, "That's a new church. We're gonna have to go one Sunday." Every Sunday morning, she was. Is we going to church? Is we going? <laughs> <laughs> so yes, woo woo made sure we went. I said it, and she made sure I kept my. <laughs> and woo 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 now is what yes. is third third or fourth year at San Diego she, State. She's in her last year at San Diego. State. She graduates in December. We will be what, 22? And she was 23. Oh, Lord. Wow. She was a little girl saying she wanted to go to the church. Yes. She was like, mm -hmm. yes, yes. A little girl, yes. Yes. She was praying for us before we were. No, yes. <laughs> that one is anointed. <laughs> so, so, Mom, Dad, you, of course, you know, we grew up attending here our whole, our whole life, at least the church in this building. Mom, you wanted to say a quick word about. Um, what do you think has contributed to our just spirit of like family and home where people do come in and don't feel like they're they're outside of the the circle of belonging and, and, and love? Well, the word that comes to my mind is faithfulness. It's, yes. And that is um, when we came as the first married couple to get sent me. That was back in 1972. 72. He put a, an anchor of faithfulness about making sure that God's house was our priority. Yes. And that was instilled in your heart as a young believer and growing up into the ministry. And I believe you have clothed that with love and acceptance and you've instilled it in the hearts of the people that are there right now. Amen. Yeah, Dad, talk about the mm -hmm. disciplines. You, you made sure we, we, we stayed a house of prayer. Stayed at, we stayed a house of prayer. Yeah, we stayed a house of prayer uh, in regards to uh, uh, just praying, asking for God's spirit to continue to be in at, the, at the services and the word of God to be preached. So I, I just really thank God that uh, he uh, was able to send you to us at a time of need and a vision and uh, and also, you know, to be able to um, um, carry us to the place that we are now. Yeah. Well, I, I, oh, go I, ahead. I can say that then there was a marrying of the, those, like, that grounded roots, the rootedness in faith and spirituality that then was connected to being, um, building relationships with people. You know, at that time, we were both, working in the schools. And then I remember Mike would just in that little beat up Passat, um, drive around the neighborhood <laughs> go meet people, and really freak them out because he was just driving up to, like the young guys on the corner and like, Hey, how y'all doing? And they're like, ready to, you know, go off on him. Like, who is this person? He's like, I'm a pastor. I just started a church around the corner, but like going up to meet people and being willing to like, just come as you are, you know, come on in, Let's hang out. Let me, he would actually start with, let me buy you lunch. You know, let's go, let's meet each other and stuff like that. And I remember we used to like, we had members back then that was willing to go and like buy people's um, 
pay for their laundry. I mean, remember Brother Jesse was like, we're going to do this yeah. thing called Wash Me Jesus. Like, we're paying for your laundry. It was like, you know? mm-hmm. Or like, um, was buying water, you know, water bottles for people at the park yeah. in the summertime. We used to, that was back mm-hmm. when Mike used to play football. I remember playing football with people. I was out there like, all right, I'm here, you know, fanning myself and stuff, whatever. But being just being out there with with people in the neighborhood that was really power that was important in those um early years early years amen yeah Sister nancy what 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 would you say about the way we in, impacted the south mm. man i remember everything everybody talking about <laughs> i was on the watch me jesus ministry i was in, look i was in the in the choir when they started i was in, <laughs> teaching children's church i was in yeah. <laughs> Angel right, you, had to, you, had to wear, you had to wear many hats to be at the way for sure. Yeah, yes, Pico. <laughs> I was making but programs. It, yeah. Yes, yes, but it was all life changing and life giving, you know, Amen. and and relational. You know what I mean? And that's what you know made it so beautiful and just. So you're like, you know, hey, this is something I just got to do. I, I, it's just a part of being, you know, a follower of Christ, you know, to love people and be there, you know, like you're saying, Lady Sharice, going out and being with the people, meeting them where they are, you know, and accepting them how they are, you know, and that I believe is so vital to, you know, the ministry and the members that, you know, are at the way. I know it is to me. Um, but one of my, um, most memorable moments at the way, I got a lot though, but <laughs> this is the one I just heard Deacon and, and sister Loretta talking about praying for the spirit to be in the presence of the way in the building. Yeah. And I, a yeah. uh, man, I feel the spirit of God every time I go in, walk in those doors, <laughs> but I'll never forget. It was 12 noon prayer. It was me, Deke. Um, Mother Gertrude and Lolita. I had never experienced the Holy Ghost. And they prayed the Holy Ghost fire on me and said, all you got to do is ask for it. You ask for it. Ask for it. And I was asking. And baby, I got it. (laughs) I got it. I got it. And I know, you know how I know I got it? Because that song they say, it's like fire. Shut up in my bones. My whole body felt like it was on fire. (laughs) Wait, wait, I start getting scared. (laughs) Yes, the Holy Spirit is real. And that's like one of my most memorable uh, moments, yes. Twelve noon prayer with Deacon Mother Gertrude and uh, Lolita. Man, yeah, that changed my life, and my life has never been the same. It's just gotten better with, well, with Christ and with a strong family. You know, strong godly family and strong godly church. You know, mm-hmm. followers of Christ. You know, not all that religion stuff and pointing finger judging. No, loving people. Just yeah. how they are, you know, and right. that's that's what Christ did, you yeah. know. So, great example, Pastor Mike, <laughs> Mac, uh, D, Loretta. Yeah. I always give y'all the praise. I'm like, all oh, y'all kids, <laughs> every last one. <laughs> said, you can't ask for nothing else. You can't ask nothing else for your kids to be serving the Lord. All day. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Any, any, anything else you want to say, Antonio, as we wrap up? Yeah, I was just going to say, I mean, in terms of the theme of family, I know there's a lot of young people who are uh, at the way. There's always been a lot of young single people. And I was one of those young single people for a long time trying to figure out how I was going to have a family. You're looking at Deke and Sister Loretta with their six kids and, and, and them being happy for decades and decades and trying to figure out how that was going to be. And, and uh, I, I, I have my wife and two children. I was going to bring them in here so people could see evidence the fruits of, of all that time <laughs> at the way, but uh, just some encouragement to folks that if you stick with it, the spiritual disciplines that that Deke and others mentioned, the, you know, the 6 a.m. prayer that we did, the all-night prayer sessions we did, uh, the men's groups, uh, all that kind of stuff, that it, it all fits together to, to allow you to do the work that you need to do in order to make whatever breakthrough you need to have in your life, and, and I, I thank God for uh, for what the way did for me in terms of allowing me to have the family that makes me so happy now. 
Amen. 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 Um, you want to say anything else before we, we wrap up? I just wanted to mention when you asked about like what contributed to a sense of being seen and um, home and things like that. This is kind of funny, but people bring it up still of that wall <laughs> of name tags. <laughs> people go in and grab their name tag. It's like so funny. Um, just yeah, those little those little gestures. But um, we've always valued people knowing that their stories matter and their their lives matter. You know, so that's that's real. That's been important from the beginning. Well, yeah. the scriptures say says to despise not the day of small beginnings mm -hmm. and certainly uh in our earliest days and weeks and months um you know a dozen folks would gather and pray for many of you who are watching today some 15 years later and the many who will come uh even in the future uh of the the way church and and i just want you to know that uh, you are loved and you are valued and you are seen that what it means to be at home is to go where everybody or somebody knows your name uh, and that you are always mm -hmm. a part of uh, the larger uh, community. And so we love you so much. Um, thank you all for uh, being a part of our family some 15 years later. Um, and I hope some of the words you've heard today from some of our OGs, our, our, the original band, <laughs> as we, we would say, uh, will encourage you to just stay apart and carry out, carry on the legacy of the way. This is The Way of 15. God bless. <laughs>